your open source advocate and I'm back with another tidbit of the week. So I, I gave you a video a, a week or so ago about a program called Enmon, which is a really awesome way to check your system and what's going on in the terminal. There's another one out there and I, I wanted to cover it because it's pretty awesome as well. It's called Glances and it's called an eye on your system. And, and out of the gate, it tries to grab a bunch of information that's running on your system. So it highly depends on what you're running, but it's also pretty configurable. So um, I'm going to go over a pretty high level overview on this one, but I wanted to help you get it installed. And then, so as you look at it, you can kind of see what glances can look like. And then down here, you can see that they say you can even run it as a, as a um, server and client setup so that you can monitor a server with a client. Um, they have an API that can be used. I, I'm not going to be doing that today. I'm just going to install it on my machine and, and have a look at it. But basically you need Python. And um, if we go on down, so you can scroll down through here and you can get to the installation instructions. They've got a couple of ways to do it. So you can use curl and you can go get it. Um, you can use wget and then let it run the bash script that you get. Or you can use pip and we've done pip in the past to install a few things. So we may use pip instead. Um, so there are different, a uh, few different things we can do here. So um, let's see. So we've got the pip install glances, uh, Python header. So Let's just talk about installing Python first. So if you bring up your terminal, you would do sudo apt install python3. So this is very important. You want to make sure you have the 3 after it. Now I've already installed python3 before, but I'll go through it. So it's going to ask you for your super user password. And in this case, it's going to tell me it's already installed. But if it's not installed in your system, it'll tell you, you know, hey, this is going to take up this many megabytes. Just hit Y and hit Enter to continue the installation. And it'll install Python 3. So the next thing you want to do is install pip itself. So you'll do sudo apt install python3 pip. So that's python3 hyphen pip. Once you do that, you hit Enter. Now, of course, I've got it already installed, but if you don't, It'll go through the installation process to install PIP as well. So now you've got PIP installed, you can install Glances. So if you look back over here on our information and it just turned to dark mode, so this is Zorn OS. If you guys are wondering, this is a, a really nice little operating system, Zorn OS 15.1. And you can go in there and tell it uh, at sunset, turn my system to night mode. So that's what just happened there. So here we can see the command, except I'm going to use sudo to do it. So sudo pip install, um, and it has to be pip3. So there it says pip, but in our case we installed Python 3, so we have to use pip3. So pip3 install glances. And this will run through the installation process for us, and then we'll be able to look at glances and see what's going on with it. And there we go, it's installed. We got a little notification up here at the top that says, hey, it, it seems to be done. So now we should be able to go through and kind of check out Glances. So we've got Glances installed, but they also say that you can go through and install some extra extensions onto Glances to help make the system a little bit more robust. So you can see a whole list of things that you can install here. Um, I think you can just install this, this uh, the way that it's listed right here. And I'm going to go through and do that, but I'm going to have to change this to pip3 and I'm going to have to use sudo. But I'm going to copy this command and I will go down here and I'm going to just middle click since I'm on the uh, system that I have a regular mouse. And then I'm going to change this to pip3 and I'm going to add sudo in the front here. So you should have sudo pip3 install and then the open single quote glance comma web and comma Wi-Fi. So all of those should be there and then a close square bracket and a close a uh, single quote. Let's see how this goes. And there we go. It's finished. We've got our notification up at the top that says it's done, which is awesome. So let's clear that out. And we will go back to our instructions here. So it lets you know that you can update glances to the latest version by running pip, uh, let's see, pip install dash dash upgrade glances and then again for all of your um, extensions that you installed you can do the same thing again you would change this to pip3 and you'd probably run it with sudo if you're not a not logged in as root which you generally shouldn't be so there's a lot of options down here for glances let's just start with some of the most simple things let's just do glances and see what we get here in the terminal so I'm gonna make that full screen and we'll do 
glances. All right, so there we go. There's a glance of a lot of information that's going on. This kind of looks like top, but it's got some information up here in the upper left, which is kind of nice. It's got a little kind of graphic of things going across to tell you what kind of usage you've got going on. So you're going to have CPU, your memory, and then swap. I don't have any swap set up, so that's why you don't see anything there. And then as we move to the right, you can see a little bit more information about the CPU and memory as we go across the top. Right below that we have network information so I am only using my wired or my wireless network here so that's why you're seeing that um, so you can see some information about just just little bits of what's going up whenever something pulls I'm again not using my network at this time so top connections uh, for listen ports things like that over here we've got CPU memory so this is kind of a top as far as the processes go which of course it's my screen recorder which we would expect and then you get XOR kind of hitting up there once in a while and then as we scroll down or as we move down with our eyes we can see our disk IO info which there's just so much here I don't know that this is really useful information but if I had this a little bit smaller text it might be more useful than it is for me as it looks right here so here you can see my local IP address, my uptime as far as how long my machine's been up and running, nice. And then the name of my machine and the uh, distro and the kernel version. So quite a bit of good information right here in Glances, which is really nice. Didn't have to do anything to bring this stuff up. It just kind of came up on its own, which is pretty sweet. So let's see if Q, yeah, Q quits out of it. So now I'm going to do glances-w, which I believe was the web version. Yeah, so it's going to tell me to go to basically my local host with 61208 as the port. So let's bring up uh, good old Firefox here. Oh yeah, so that's kind of nice, right? I mean, this is this is the same exact thing we were just looking at, except we're getting it in a browser. And I'm kind of curious. I'm going to look on my phone. And it's recording. So here's the screen. Um, you can kind of see what's going on here from the web view of glances. So you can just scroll, and you can see the little scroll bar on the right there. So it scrolls quite a long ways to see all of the information that it's providing on a phone screen. Uh, but but it's not bad. Um, this is actually pretty cool. So if you have a virtual private network, you could actually be running glances and keep an eye on your systems when you're away. And if you rotate the phone like I just did, then the information looks a little bit better even, um, which makes it kind of nice. So that's, that's very cool. Um, it did scale to the phone size as soon as I opened it. I didn't have to scale it by hand. Uh, when I zoomed out just now, it made it look a little bit weird, but that's that's really cool. And then we can also scroll here, so I could not scroll in the terminal, so there is a benefit to having this opened up in the uh, web browser, which is kind of nice. So we can see all of the information that's going on here with Glances. So that's a pretty quick look at Glances. There's, as you saw, quite a lot of capability within Glances to do some things. Um, I haven't gotten into the UI configuration of it, but I believe you can kind of configure the layout of Glances as well. So maybe I'll do a follow-up video on that, but that's your tidbit for the week. Hopefully this is a really useful tool for you guys. If you like it, if you enjoy it, like, subscribe, tell your friends about it, and I'll talk to you next time.